second rehearsal went really well. We are very happy to be on stage every time we get those three minutes to play. We're happy because it seems like 90% of the time we're doing interviews. So this is what we really want to do, play music. So it always gives a nice boost of energy to the day. Even though it was very early morning, I don't think it's a real time to sing rock and roll like nine o'clock in the morning, <laughs> unless you come straight from the bar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, how you managed to be on Eurovision because you're such a popular band and how is it possible? Well, our fans have been asking for years, uh, will the Rasmus ever take part of this? And so they sort of planted the seed long time ago. But I think uh, after COVID, we were looking for something to do, something exciting uh, to, you know, to do something together because we were not able to play concerts. So last summer I got this idea uh, to take part of the Eurovision game and also I wrote this song. I sent it to the guys and they said like, Ooh, it's a good song. This could do well in the competition. And that's how everything started. And it's been really nice because ever since we decided to get into this, we had this goal to be in Turin in May, and here we are. <laughs> and here are, yeah. Uh, maybe you will play a concert in Poland in near future. Yes, we are playing yeah. concerts uh, in Krakow and Warsaw. In October. Uh, in October. Yeah. yeah, so we are very looking forward to that. It's going to be great. We love Poland and we have so many good fans there. So it's been a couple of years since we played there last time. So waiting to see all you guys there. So are you enjoying touring, guys? Yes, uh, so much. I've been running around the city like I do running. <laughs> yeah, I know espresso is really strong here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But seeing all these beautiful parks and old buildings and everything about touring. Is and what so we nice. did yesterday was great fun. We, yes, we, ha we uh, played on the street. We yeah. had uh, two little shows. Spontaneous street gigs. Yeah, that yeah. was great fun. Yeah, we played Jezebel. And then people were like, hmm. and then we were like, okay, let's crank it up. We played, oh, 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 and they were like, all right, this is getting somewhere. And then it was like, okay, we got to do something better here. Then we played, oh, volare, oh, yeah. <laughs> and everybody was like dancing. Then they're so dancing. Like, and we, we got some money because we had the yeah. guitar case open. Oh, yeah. Guess Imagine. how much? A lot of money. Guess how a lot much? A lot of money. One euro, 60 cents. Woo! Yeah, we could one es oh, one espresso. For, for, for all the to bands. share. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even for a bus ticket. So. No. No. Yeah, but there was actually more money in my guitar case. But then I heard that it's the money of our like friends and... Uh, <laughs> the manager came to give us a couple of euros. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, for the end, do you want to tell some, uh, something to Polish fans? Well, we want to say to all the Polish fans that we really miss you guys. And uh, we want to see you all in October when we come to play the shows.